This is going to be a great video to kick off the new year. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to the channel and happy 2025. I'm so excited today to show you this amazing demo from Lincoln Learning Solutions. I got introduced to this company by um, actually visiting their booth at InstructureCon. And you might have seen a few of my demos that I've done actually at the conference, but this is gonna be an amazing deep dive of what they really have to offer for K-12 educators that use canvas now i could go on forever talking about how amazing lincoln learning solutions is but i don't think i could do it really that justice and you'd just be bored so let me just show you uh, the lovely interaction and collaboration video that i did with their amazing representative kathy and she's going to show you why this tool is awesome I'm so excited today to have Kathy with me. Kathy is from Lincoln Learning Solutions. This is a K-12 resource for teachers. We don't have many of those uh, in the Canvas space, so that's why I'm just so excited to have her today. Take it away. This is going to be a fun yes. <laughs> yeah, Lauren, thank you so much for having us and thank you for that wonderful introduction. Um, I am with Lincoln Learning Solutions and I represent our business development side and we are super excited to connect with you and your, your viewers on a product that we have called the Lincoln Content Bank. Um, what we feel is that this tool, it's an LMS add-on tool, so it adds directly into Canvas and we find that this tool will be essential for teachers, our K-12 through teachers. So Lincoln Learning Solutions is a digital curriculum program provider. And we've been in the space for over 20 years now. And we have courses from early kindergarten all the way through 12th grade, both core and elective. And that's kind of where we started was those, those courses, those fully designed, fully developed courses. And what we learned just with talking with different educators was that, you know, sometimes they're not looking for that full course solution. Maybe they're looking for parts of a course components, maybe a learning object to, to fill, a, fill a space in their current course, or maybe some something interactive that they wanted to show in a full classroom um, discussion. So what we decided to do was kind of create this content bank where teachers can search, filter, and find the exact learning object that they will need to meet where their students are. And so we're very excited to share that with you today and what it looks like in Canvas. Yes. And I, I think what I love about it is you guys, you're a resource for essentially a full course a part of a course, a lesson, or just like one little interactive. And so it's really catered for teachers to pick and choose what they want. So I'm so excited for you to show us a demo of this. Absolutely. Let's <laughs> let's hop in right now. So here we are in our, our Canvas dashboard, and I'm just going to hop into kind of a, a blank course that we have here. So this could be a course that I've you know, created or I'm working in and I need to find those resources. So what I love about the Lincoln Content Bank is that you can access it from a module level and also the course level. So here in the module, I can click down into Lincoln Content Bank and as it loads, you can see that this design is extremely intuitive for the teacher. So you see that we have a search bar here where you can type in any keyword that you would like. We also have some different places where you can filter as well. Just wanna get you acclimated kind of with this first screen. So we have some items here that are helpful. They're recommended for you. So these are based off of my searches. So these are some of the learning objects that you might encounter in the Lincoln Content Bank. And then what I really love is this feature, global trending items. These are things that other people are searching within the system as well. So, you know, it kind of gives you some ideas of what else is in this content bank. And then we have here, just to give you kind of an idea of the types of items that you can find in our content bank, there's instructional text pieces like our read -its. You'll find games and videos and projects. You'll even find some assessments that are great because they also include rubrics that come along with them as well. And one of the newest features that we have here are these lesson packages that will allow you to pull in a full lesson package that will, it'll be a combination of all of those different types of learning objects all in one lesson package. So we'll show you how those can also be incorporated into your lessons. So you'll see the global trending ones and the ones that you have um, searched yourself. So let's give this a go for an example. As you notice, when I clicked into the Lincoln Content Bank, I was in a little module called intervention. Uh, so let's just 
imagine that I'm looking for some items on nouns. Um, some of my students are having difficulties with nouns, or maybe they need to reteach that item. So I am going to just start very, very fresh, and we are going to maybe do singular and plural nouns. Just a keyword search there. I love that the content bank is a window and you can still see Canvas. Like it's oh. still there because sometimes I feel like a lot of products like take you away from Canvas and then you kind of get lost. So I love that. You're still in Canvas, essentially. You're still in Canvas. And that is so that is so great. You're never leaving Canvas. Yeah. And as we, as we get to the place where the magic happens, you'll see that it just all works together all within the Canvas LMS. So as you can see right here, we just typed in that keyword, but I also have the ability to filter by grades. So, you know, I'm looking for something for that in that lower elementary grade level. So as you see, I filtered by grade. So I've got first, second, and third grade. And then I'm looking specifically right now for some videos. So as you can see, some of them have popped up already, but if I use my filtering area, I can choose kind of that resource type. I can choose a video, I can choose a game, and it will narrow my search down a lot further. So I can also select a state standard as well. So that would populate. The default will always be that national standard that will populate on that learning object as well. So as mentioned, I was looking for a video for my students. I really feel that this is going to support their learning and is the item that they learn best with. So I see that this is a video. I see that the uh, learning objective right is right clearly displayed. I know what grade levels this is good for, and I can also see the standard as well. So that will be displayed below. That's super cool. Yeah. And you can also search by standard as well. So if you have the nomenclature, you can search by standard as well. Awesome. One, one thing I love are these great buttons here where we have the preview. So I can preview this learning object and I can watch this video to see if this is what I'm looking for. So after I've done that preview, the thing that I love is that I can bookmark this learning object because this is something I would like to save and potentially add to my module there. So I've bookmarked that learning object and you can see it's listed right here. Now, since I loved that singular and plural nouns video, I might want to see some additional learning objects that are like that. So if I click see related, this is going to pull a variety of other learning objects that are very similar to the oh. one that I had just previewed. So as you can see here, it brings up additional things, maybe like a practice it that I could add to this. Uh, there's another video that's a teach it, an instructional text piece. So a variety, oh, even a game. So a variety of learning objects that I think my students would really relate to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bookmark a few of these other ones. I know my students are going to love a game and I probably want them to practice something with singular and plural nouns. So I'm going to add that practice it as well, always knowing that I can preview these learning objects at any time. And then finally, I will add this extra video as well, because my students learn better by listening to the content. Um, so I'm going to bookmark that. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we've got a nice collection. So I'm going to go back up here to my collection. We've got a great collection of all of these learning objects. So I'm going to select all four of my items and then get ready. This is where the magic happens. I'm so excited. I'm going, you know, <laughs> I'm going to add them directly to my module. So I'm going to add all of those learning objects directly to the module. And you'll see they will populate right into that module that we were working on. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So and, awesome. and so, you know, from here, I can use all the features that Canvas um, offers. So I can move these learning objects around. I could um, add different elements to them, maybe to make them count for a grade, a variety of things that, that the teacher can do with these learning objects. But I want to show you just what they look like within Canvas LMS. So if I click directly on this, you'll see that the watch it will appear directly here in this frame. I'm able to play it directly here so that students can watch this video, um, not have to go someplace else to look at the video. Amazing. I love, because sometimes when, if you go back to modules, when we see that little icon, the link icon as a teacher, sometimes we get scared because that usually means we're going to be taken out of Canvas. But I love that all of the content stays in Canvas. And that's just like the icing on the cake for this resource. It really is. I mean, it really kind of, I love the fact that everything is right here. And what I love is that, you know, with this example, finding those 
learning objects, that specific one or two that I know my students need. So for this example, we knew that our students needed something to engage with, something that was interactive, something that they could learn in their own style. So you can see that with the Lincoln Learning Solutions curriculum with our ITS, they're going to reach all those different modalities of how students learn. And so I want to show another example. Um, and this can, this happens, you know, all across the nation when with teachers who, you know, maybe need to prepare for a remote learning day on the fly. They maybe didn't anticipate something happening, but they needed to kind of create something or a very quick lesson. So I want to show you how you can use the lesson packages as a way to really streamline your, your lesson planning. And these are new, right? This is a new thing. Yeah. 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 So, and, and again, this is something that based on our, the feedback from our, the teachers that are using it, you know, our team is really kind of making sure that we're making this application, this content bank useful and relevant to our, to our end users, to our teachers. Awesome. So, I love it. What we have here, same thing. We're back into Lincoln Content Bank with that, just that one click from the Canvas LMS. And, you know, let's say I'm a science teacher and I'm trying to find something for maybe the life cycle of a plant typing that keyword in, to see what we have. Um, I'm looking maybe for something in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade level. So you can maybe that middle school level. And I'm definitely looking for a lesson package. So let's kind of go down to, I think I found it already, um, but I could <laughs> use the first type. But this, this is kind of what I'm looking for, um, the plant's life cycle. And so again, I want to preview what this is because it's a lesson package on the plant's life cycle. So I want to preview it. And as you can see, it's a fully developed lesson package. So you see that we have that instructional text piece that read it. Again, I can preview that individual learning object here. We have a video that goes along with it, a couple practice activities, a show it, which is a place where students will demonstrate their understanding of the learning objective. So it's you know, maybe a little bit more intense and it comes with an answer key as well. So this looks like a very solid lesson that I could use. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to streamline this because this is something I know I want to use. It's the exact lesson. It has all of the components of a lesson that I would typically do. I'm just going to add directly to the module. Amazing. So here, yeah. That took like seconds. Exactly. <laughs> right. I, that's, that's the beauty of this is that as a teacher, I had that keyword and then I was able to find a full lesson package with very, very few clicks. So, yeah, and I just um, think this is so easy for teachers to just like reach kids on a remote learning day and they can easily have this create something in seconds. So that's awesome. Yes. yes. I, I think it's, um, it's just so many, so many different use cases as well. Um, and one thing too, is that, you know, that this content is created for teachers by teachers. So our curriculum team is a great group who really takes pride in the work that they do. So you know that this is quality standard aligned content that you're delivering to your students. So there's no second guessing. It's like, is this great? Or, or are my students going to have to go travel to a place on the internet that's not safe for them? You know that this is vetted curriculum that you can use for your students. Awesome. And then on this page, I'm seeing, I keep seeing this little bar across the yes. top. What so is this, that? this is the text help toolbar. Um, it, it is embedded in all of our learning objects. Mm -hmm. This is a text to speech. So it will read the text aloud for you as well. There's a translator tool. So it can translate what? into a variety of language and read in the languages. Uh, dictionary, picture dictionary, screen mask, and a magnifying glass. All of these are just embedded directly into the learning object. So you also have that accessibility piece that yeah. comes along with it as well. That's amazing. That's that's so helpful for not just the educator, but students that if they have accommodations, they can easily use that. So that's amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then the final thing I just, you know, wanted to kind of show additional things that the Lincoln Content Bank has to offer because we saw a lot of those uh, learning objects, the, you know, the watch it's the practice it's all of those things that meet the different modalities of uh, students learning. But sometimes too, a teacher might be looking for maybe a project or something that's a little bit more hands on. I know uh, when I was in the classroom trying to come up with engaging projects that I think my students would enjoy always took a little bit of extra time. The content that Lincoln has is very dynamic and we will show 
show you right here is one of these chemistries, which is a fun project, and they're very hands-on. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of the things that we we see in maybe digital curriculum really kind of are just computer-based and uh, yeah. maybe just kind of, and which is great, but we also have a variety of learning objects that allow for some hands-on um, kind of offline activity as well. So these projects for this, our chemistry course are a great example of that. Um, and so variety of like interactive uh, learning objects here. So let's just kind of preview this one so you can take a look at what it looks like. But as you can see here, we're kind of going through a story and the, the student must walk through this story and they're going to be completing more of a hands-on activity here, almost like a, a lab of sorts where they're going to have to kind of do a variety of different tasks. So a lot of these can be used within a classroom setting. So if you're in a blended classroom or if you're doing a whole group instruction, you know, this is something you can also do together in a group setting as well. I just wanted to show kind of the depth of the content that you'll see in the content bank. A lot of great interactive learning objects, but then also too, you'll see um, some hands-on projects as well. I love the chem mystery. That's such right. that's so fun. <laughs> Right. It kind of makes you want to do that project because it sounds like something that you'll you'll get really into. Yeah. That is just an overview of what the Lincoln Content Bank has to offer and what we really think is a value for the teachers. Absolutely. And like I kind of said in the beginning, there's a lot of Canvas tools and they are for K-12 education, but I don't think there's anything that's like this where you can plug it in and use it and pick and choose right away. Just that integration piece is just amazing. So I I'm so excited that we were able to do this video today. Yes. And we're excited to, you know, get into the hands of teachers because we really feel that this could benefit their classrooms and also streamline some of their lesson planning and preparation that they have to do to get things ready for the students. Absolutely. So if a teacher wants to get their hands on this Lincoln Content Bank and try it out, how can they access this? Well, I would say that they would go to lincolnlearningsolutions.org and from there you can request a demo of the Lincoln Content Bank. And with that, you would be able to get a trial account and test it out to see if it would work for, for your school and for your classroom. That's the best probably way to get in touch with us is to kind of go through the website and request a demo. Awesome. And I'll leave the website in the description of this video as well. So that way teachers can access it easily if they want to find out more about Lincoln Learning. Awesome. We hope to hear from you. And this has been such a wonderful experience. Um, thank you for having us, Lauren. Of course. Thanks for coming on the channel. I want to thank Kathy and of course Lincoln Learning Solutions for collaborating with me on this video. I'm so excited that you guys finally get to really see the true power that the Lincoln Learning Content Bank has to offer within Canvas. And of course, if you're interested and you want to learn more, all of that information will be provided for you in the description of this video. I am looking forward to this year. So many exciting things, so many new things. In case you guys are unaware, I'm going to be having a baby in 2025. I am currently 21 weeks pregnant. And so that is like a really big change, but I still am planning to continue content as much as I possibly can this year. I'm just looking forward to all the new things that I get to share. Tips, tricks, new resources, new companies, all of that fun stuff, all related to Canvas for you right here on this channel. So I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!